in this episode, Mark and I are going to box it out. Mondial 125 versus the KTM RC125. A couple of things we're going to test these bikes on. A couple of ridiculous things where the points don't really matter. Mark? But the fun does. So let's get into it. Let's get this boxing match on. Round one, boy. <laughs> round, round one, boy. Okay fans, in this episode, like we said, we're going to be battling out this KTM RC125 against this Mondial 125, which we don't know a hell of a lot about, but we're going to find out today exactly which one is best. Mark, I think it's pretty obvious. This KTM RC125 is going to handle properly around the corners. It's going to pull away from this ridiculous looking thing. Actually, there's, a, there's, a, there's an appeal. I'll put it there. There's definitely that. an appeal there's with this cafe appeal. racer here. So I think this is the one to go for. But it's all about you guys, so we want to know what you think. If you think the KTM is better or the Mondial is better, please let us know in the comments as well. Guys, We'd love to hear your opinion. Stay tuned, it's going to be epic. We're going to do, I've got a track plan for us, Mark. Yeah. So we're going to do a time lapse around the track. We'll take three attempts each, each to see who can get the fastest around the basic track. We're going to do an acceleration, straight line acceleration from cone to cone or from marker to marker. And we're going to do a decel. And the fun one, well, I think you're going to maybe win. I'm definitely going to win gonna this one. I'm going to take you for a coffee. Okay, right? deal. I'm going to take you for a coffee. Yeah. You need to interact with people and see, it's not my opinion that counts, it's not your opinion that counts, <laughs> but we're going to see what the people at the coffee shop think between the two bars. So we're going to get the people's interest in. Oh, this is going to be fantastic because I know what the people are going to love. Mark, it was your birthday the other day. <laughs> Oh, he's got me a present. I got Michael a present because, you know, he's without a helmet. Mark, happy birthday, man. What is this? Happy birthday. This is a must. My helmet <laughs> suits the occasion. My helmet suits the occasion. Uh, is it, I think it's a cigar. Let's check out. The <laughs> I, I wish I could buy dignity in a box. Oh, my God. Oh, that this, is, this is second best. Second this best. This is this probably is the coolest thing I've ever received as a gift. What is in there? This is to top it off. These aren't yours, by the way. I'm just borrowing them to you. Ah, no ways. These are my weekenders. Guys, how cool do I look? <coughs> that is the business. What I do like about this helmet, and I've just noticed it, we've got extra sun protection. Double sunglasses, double the glass. Mark's gonna have to sit through his coffee, so stay tuned. Carry on watching, carry on liking and subscribing, because he's gonna sit at the coffee shop without taking this helmet off. That's part of the deal, Mark. You're not allowed to take this helmet off at the coffee shop. We'll sit outside, we'll have a coffee, and you need to ask people whose bike is better. We know it's gonna be this one, especially with this helmet. So let's get to it. We're gonna go out on the road. We're gonna review these two bikes. We're gonna battle it out. Round one, fight. Round one, coffee boy. Let's go, coffee top. Guys, this is Michael this trying is to gain audience on the Benelli. Absolutely cool. My Cartier sunglasses, we had text on the park, coffee shop. 
Mark, you're not going to win this. You need to get some follow. Really? Guys, just so that you know, no. we've got one waiter that loves the black box. So that's one up on Mark. Only, but apparently the three ladies inside said they like the orange box. I like how you said apparently. No, you said they voted. All right, Mark, you, you, keep on, you keep on keeping on, Mark. Just based on looks. So don't think about anything else, how cool I look, which obviously, you know, you can tell which bike I ride. But just wanted to get your honest opinion on which bike you think I is the coolest. I quite like just the black one. Well, you quite like the black one? Yeah. yeah. Lighter for the people in the back, the it's black quite, one? <laughs> it's quite stealth. Thank you very much. High five. <laughs> Thank you. See you guys. That's my boy Mark. This Ding is, is there. The black one is winning, as you can see. There's ball no, dusting people. There is no competition here. They like his face, let's be honest. <laughs> I like the bike better. There we go guys. A lovely smoothie at Paquette's on the park, Burgess Hill. Try them out if you're in the area. Awesome, awesome stuff. We're gonna go for round three on our uh, boxing match. And that is setting up a little track, getting around the track and taking these bikes to their limits, effectively. Awesome. We'll see you on the track. All right, we're on to the next venue. Mario is going to take us to the racetrack. We've just arrived at our famous test track here in Haywards Heath. It is fantastic prime conditions, I'd say. They've just retired the new track surfaces. Yeah, so um, we've we paid a lot towards taxes in this area, so I'm, I'm glad they've sorted us out, Mark. Yep. Look at this top. Look at this. That looks this incredible. This is a proper track for a KTM RC125, not a Mondial, boy. This is the Mondial track, bro. All this right, is, guys. This is where the Mondial was developed, let me tell Let's you something. Let's talk more action. All right. It comes down to start and finish times. Mark. That's it. You so can the say plan what you want about the Mondial. The figures are going to talk for itself, boy. So the plan here is we're going to start off with those uh, two cans up. We're going to set out a course. We're going to go all the way to the end, do a figure eight, and then come all the way back. And we're going to time ourselves and see who can get back the fastest, really. Which and we know is going to be the Mondial, because acceleration is Then we're going to do a D-cell, and we're going to do an X-cell. So start and stop, basically. Pretty much. Just compare the two. I mean, it's our opinions at the end of the day. Nothing uh, is recorded on fancy equipment, nothing. Uh, we're just testing these bikes, having fun doing what exactly. we have to do. So that you guys know what you're buying into, should you want an RC125 or a Mondial. Both awesome bikes, we're taking the piss out of it, but it is what it is. We're exactly. having fun, That's and it. you guys get to enjoy it and make a decision. I mean, hit the comments below, let us know what you like, how's that? <laughs> let us battle it out, that's the final count, Mark. What do you we guys think? Count. Who do you think wins you guys this let epic us know. battle? We'll count out the comments and see who actually wins. Because that's Absolutely. where it matters. You guys matter because we make it happen. I'm here to win hearts, not races. Let me tell you something. There's the beast. Mondial again. That awesome little exhaust. Special edition. And uh, the boring looking KTM in those boring orange colors. Just kidding. It is an awesome bike. So I'm going to flip this around quickly. There's the KTM in all its glory. Racing machine. Both of them are excellent learner bikes. So easy to ride. There's the Mondial. I'm going to walk around here. I must mention something, Mark. That I'm quite happy with on this park is that even though it's a super sport type park, They've actually widened the handlebar so you're actually not sitting too crouched up. It's actually quite a comfortable upright position. That's very right valid actually. Because that's the biggest issue with the sports bikes is you're leaning too far forward. With the clip-ons. And you get that... You get your back straight. Exactly. Your wrist, uh, wrist strain. So this is quite nice feedback. Widen it up for the learner driver. So perfect learner bike. These came out six years after Yamaha released the YZF125. And by that time, Yamaha had sold 45,000 units, so definitely a market. And anything KTM is fun, guys. We know that, and you should know that if you're into bikes. And I think they've done awesome on this RC125 to match that YZF125. So, let's check out our test track quickly. So, we're going to start off here again. There's our starting point. We've got our Makov cans, which is one of the products we use, actually. Again, not sponsored. And then we're going to go all the way down there. Do a figure eight, turn around, and come back to this point. And we're going to time ourselves and see who can do it the quickest. The KTM looks like it's ready to go. 
looking down the main straight. <laughs> Let's do this. I hope you can see what's happening. We're going to do a figure eight. Start to stop. Michael's on the timer. This is a KTM versus a Mondial uh, 125. Okay, I made our yeah, I'm gonna, I'll count you down. motor degreaser starting point. There you go. Three, two, one, go. The brakes are horrible on this thing. I'm supposed to do a figure eight. Fast out the corner. And finish. Do you want to know your time? A little bit awkward there, knowing I'm driving somebody's dream bike, but okay. 27 seconds, that's 27 horrible, seconds. man. Alright. Only gonna do it once, guys, so no point in doing it three times. It's not the, no. it's not a racetrack, really, but let's see how it goes. Okay, yep. there we go, guys. Alright, guys, this is the Mondial. Mondial, time one, trial. two, five, time lapse. On the, on the racetrack, Moya's gonna get the timer going. You get to your starting point, we've got a, a muck off degreaser starting can. Michael, you're too far forward, boy. Yeah, I know. Let me just check this guy, because he's taking chances with that slick helmet. Alright, I'm going to do a count out. Well, we've got a good obstruction. Uh, we've just got a marshal checking our track for safety. Safety first, guys. Yeah, Alright, count down starts. Three, two, one, go! He's going to beat me. He's going to beat me. 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Don't let him know. I cheated. I cheated him out of one second on the start stop, guys. Alright, Mark, you got your time. No ways. 28, 28 flat. seconds, boy. Nice. The KTM beat One you up on, that on one. the KTM. One up for the KTM. Good job, KTM. All right. We're going to do a start-stop competition, eh, Mark? Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. We're going to do a stopping competition between the KTM and the Mondial. So, basically, we've got a line demarcated. When we hit that line, somewhere there, it's a parking line. And we're going to use these two cans to see who stopped quicker after hitting around 15 miles an hour from there to there uh, as quick as we can to get to that point slamming on brakes and we're going to use this to mark the green uh, motorcycle degreaser from Makhoff is going to mark out the Mondial stopping point and the pink is going to mark out the KTM stopping point and that's it let's go Mark let's go Alright guys, Michael's getting into position, you're going to see, he's going to hit brakes when he hits this uh, pink can, uh, where is it, there we go, he's got some all wet weather chain lube, there we go, all wet weather chain lube is his stopping point, Michael's in position, he's coming in for it, here we go, here we go, Oh, that's a bit better. Ha, I like that. I like that. All right. Uh, just stay there. Stop moving back, Mark. I need to keep my eyes on this guy. <laughs> okay. At least I've got a, a beating point. All right. I'm going to set up. I'm going to get ready. Mark will film that one. All right. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. Okay, 21 miles an hour. Here we are, there we are, there we are. Okay, Mark, you're 
that's a win. Here we go. A game where the points don't matter. I'll take it. So that was my stopping point over there. That was the KTM. Did a lot better. Got ABS guys, but at the same time, it's not a major difference at that speed. We're just trying to show you that these bikes are quite similar and it comes down to preference and looks and style. Michael's not convinced about the coffee stop only because there were there, there was really not enough people there to make a judgment call uh, we're gonna go to a co-op and see if we can catch one or two people to to decide on what they like okay let's go park my box it looks sexy sorry mark find your own spot mate we have officially arrived at the shop where we can hopefully score another point. Pointless point. It's pointless point, I like it. Just based on appearance. Which bike do you honestly prefer? It's tight here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hop off. <laughs> that's, that's, that's too city uppy. That's city uppy. I want to say Armani, oh, but. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no, KCM. Sorry, man. I just want to ask a question. We're doing a video, a video series on our bikes and we're trying to see out of the public whether you like the orange bike or the black bike better than like what's your, you know, what I, I'm battling it out with my buddy. Just for uh, visuals. Just visuals. I mean, they're both little 125s. They're nothing serious. It's a tough one, guys. <laughs> I think I'd be more drawn to this one. The black one? Yeah, that's a kind of a vintage. Okay, Mondial, that's yeah, fine, that's yeah. fair. I also like it, it's got something about it, eh? Yeah, it is, it's got that sort of old vintage style. Yeah, the vintage slash scrambler looking, it is appealing, eh? Yeah. Alright. Both, both lovely bikes, though. I'm Perfect, thank you very much, man, I appreciate that. Oh, I'm losing this battle. Okay, I've lost this. <laughs> no, 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 that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Michael, that hat's ridiculous. <laughs> That's why you're getting the votes, it's your helmet. Your helmet's winning the votes. My helmet's winning the votes, I think so too. I think this lady likes orange. We're back at the barn after riding these two awesome learner bikes, the two 125s. We had such a blast riding them around town. I don't know what the score is yet, we're going to tell you that up, but I do think that the KTM had the slight advantage on some of the competitions that we had but the points don't really matter what matters is that we had fun 100% we showed you guys what these bikes are about what they're capable of what they're not capable of and that's it guys I hope you like the unveiling of the Mondial it is a very different bike a very different uh, appealing bike in terms of aesthetics Definitely. and the rest of it uh, versus the KTM you saw it we rode them, we took them to their limits in a way. Um, we've got to abide by the laws of the road and everything with that. And they pretty much performed the same. Uh, I'd say the performance was pretty much on par. Like 100%. that had maybe one or two miles more on, on it to the top end, but I think acceleration wise, they were neck on neck, really. 100%. When you were next to me and we were pulling away, I couldn't get away from that pull away. So guys, as a one too far, it's going to come down to riding style preference, it's going to come down to what you personally like, and I think that, that puts us forward to the scoreboard, right? Yeah, let's, let's tally up the score. So, the right, first we competition... Started at, we started at... The Patex... Patex on the park... Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Yeah, and that first competition was to see who... What the general what the public, general public like. thought about these bikes. Not performance, not anything, but just purely on aesthetics. Purely on aesthetics, what they liked about it. 
and we tally that up and the Mondial won on that one, guys. Mondial came first at the coffee shop. We then went to the track. What did you get at the coffee shop, Mike? You got three, I got one. No, I got, you four, got four likes. I got, got four, four likes at the coffee shop. Four, you got four likes at the coffee shop. Yeah. I only got one like, and that was from a car guard and or a council worker. And he preferred this bike only because he likes more modern looking things. Yeah. Other than that, everybody else that knows nothing about bikes took to the Mondial only because of the way it looks. So they, it just goes to show that, you know, it's got some sort of an appeal. And really what it was about is that they thought it was more of a vintage looking bike, which I have to agree with. Cafe racer style, I think that, you know, plays to based that off vintage bike. It is based on a flat track uh, racer bike, exactly. Um, and that's really what they liked about it. So, yeah, yeah from there we went on to our racetrack, which our was custom, our custom Menace, Menace Ride track. Race I hope track. you like it, we've just retarded. The council did it for us, free of charge, it is in a public area, so good on them. Thanks, thanks council. Yeah, uh, what did we do there, Mark? We did a figure eight. Yeah, we did a figure eight, so that was a timed run from start to finish. Um, the KTM went first, and Mario got a time of 27 seconds, 27.06 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I went after that and I got 28 seconds flat. So the KTM. So we won up. KTM's won up on. Well, it's 1 1 really on one, the looks. 1 1. Okay, yeah. so we are 1 1, guys. 1 yeah. 1. 1 1. The second test was yeah. a stoppage test. It was a stoppage test, that's right. In terms of distance. So what we did is we slammed on brakes at about 21 miles an hour. Yeah. And there was a, a point of hitting brakes and a point at which the bike stopped. Yeah. And that was the. The score point and with that the ktm won by about half a meter uh the mondial was behind by half a meter so that's two one to the ktm yeah, so in terms of that yeah. however we've got to be pre we can't be prejudiced towards the driver uh it could be that michael didn't hit the brakes as soon as i did i could have slowed down just before hitting brakes exactly there's loads there's of factors to consider effect. however both bikes stopped quite easily yeah. at 21 miles an hour they came within a reasonable stopping distance a safe stopping distance or stopping time yeah. and i think that just goes to show that both bikes are again besides the ktm winning this on par yeah i think one of the the cool things that we realize about that stoppage test is that with the abs the bike obviously stopped a lot quicker mario felt a lot safer but one of the things about this bike that i don't particularly like but i think it's quite safe for learner riders is that when you hit the back brake, it actually breaks. It's got a dual system. Got a dual yeah. system, so it breaks front and back at the same time. You, you can actually feel the feedback through the front brake lever. So, something to consider when buying these types of bikes. Yeah. After that, we went to the co-op, just to carry on with the- With the looks test. With the looks, just for an extra, out of the Burgess Hill area, trying to get an opinion from the Hayward Zeet area, and. Michael won that one. I won that one. I had Hands one down. guy that liked this KTM for the looks, and there were three others that liked the Mondial. So out of four, Mark got three, I got one. So again, guys, this is people's opinions on what they see and what they like. And again, the Mondial took it. So if you're a guy looking for a motorbike and you're looking for aesthetics and you want something appealing, something that appeals to the general public, if you're driving around, if that's your thing, Mondial's taking it. Absolutely. And Not honestly, even like orange apparently. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what they said. They, they didn't like the color. Box on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly have to say that I think it was all to do with this awesome gift that Mario got me. I think this had sex appeal, really, because I mean, look at yeah, this bike. Yeah. Look at look at the rider. <laughs> but overall, I mean, it's two two. Obviously, this is just made up stuff, guys. All right, guys. I've got a confession to make. I've got a confession to make. KTM wins this. Without a doubt, you'll see we took a race to the barn and I won that race. KTM is the winner. Michael came over. Thank you guys very much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Uh, we're going to bring you a couple of other videos. I hope you like the series on the KTM. I hope you like the overview Michael's done on the Mondial. It's an open ride um, review that he's done. Really. Pre talking uh, that was done yesterday without the comparison of the two bikes. So, guys, if you like the Mondial and you're interested if, and you're watching this video, please go back to Michael's review. It's his personal review on the bike on our channel, Menace Rides. Like, share, subscribe. I've got a confession. 
when Michael did that figure eight, I waited for him to come around again, and then I pushed. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if you look at the clock, it will be on the video footage if Michael can get it in there. I think he made about 25 something. Mondial for the win. Mondial for the win. Yes, guys. baby. What a video, what a time. Guys, it was all about having fun. It was all about giving you guys feedback in terms of these vehicles and that. And that's what we want to do. So please, like, share, subscribe. And hit that notification to... icon as well, guys, because you'll be notified when you get when we upload a new video. Pop, pop, pop. Right the at the bell, top there. The bell. Yeah. And we'll link the other videos below as well to the review of this bike, to the review of the KTM. And we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Cheers. Cheers, Mark. Nice there. Good ride.